Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Quarter, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for January 6, 2020. And today I received all the movies I ordered from eBay last week. Which in this update, I'm going to show four VHS tapes, even though you're only seeing three right now. But one of them is, is a surprise, which I'm going to reveal at the end of the video. One DVD box set and one Blu-ray. So, without any further ado, let's get started. And we're going to start with the VHSs, which I have two clamshells and one slipcover. And this first VHS I ordered on New Year's Day. And... It is a new copy of the 1997 VHS of Annie. This is part of the Columbia TriStar Family Collection. This is a 1982 movie with the late Albert Finney, Carol Burnett, Bernadette Peters, Anne Reinking, and Tim Curry. This is the Broadway Tribute Edition. Digitally remastered includes theatrical trailer. Now, if you saw my damaged VHS tape video that I uploaded on New Year's Day, um... The copy of this tape I already had turned out to be damaged because I was trying to watch the movie that night. But um, if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out and you'll see why it's damaged and why I ended up getting another copy. Annie is big, colorful, with high-spirited performances as Vincent Canby of the New York Times. And this movie also has Jeffrey Holder, Edward Herman as FDR, Sandy is himself in introducing Aileen Quinn as, Aunt, as Annie. Rated PG, proxy 127 minutes. And unlike um, this copy of Annie, which I've had since October 2014, um, well, this one's packaged in a regular clamshell, while this one comes in a hard clamshell. And this one was brand new sealed, but I already opened it. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And this was printed in the 51st week of 1997, while my first copy was printed in the 29th week of 1997. So this one was printed later. And since this tape was brand new sealed, I'm certain this is going to play with no issues. And I had seen this movie before years ago. So now that I finally got a better condition copy, I'm going to have to actually watch this movie soon. And as for this copy, I'm going to get rid of it. Alright. And the next VHS I got is a Warner Home Video Big W clamshell. And it is the 1981 VHS of Under the Rainbow. Part of the comedy genre. Also a 1981 movie with Chevy Chase, the late Carrie Fisher, Eve Arden, Adam Arkin, Billy Barty, Robert Donner, Quirk Hubbard, Joseph Maher, Mako, and Pat McCormick. Yeah, this is a pretty rare tape. No Dreams Too Big, No Dreamers Too Small. Rated PG, 97 minutes. Here's the Warner Home Video Big W logo engraved inside the clamshell. And there's the tape with the sticker label and the end label. And I know there's a print date underneath the end label, which I don't know if I'm going to reveal it or not. But we'll see. If I ever do reveal the print date on this, I'll let you all know what it is in the either in the description or the comment section. This is recorded on a scotch tape. And on the lid, it says Warner Home Video 4. And the seller I bought this from also sent me this, a DVD backup of the movie. So, the seller transferred the VHS onto a DVD, which I wasn't expecting this, but it's a nice little bonus. And now here's the last, well... Actually, the last VHS I'm showing right now before I show off the surprise at the end. Which, this one's in a slipcase. 
and that is the 1985 VHS of Seems Like Old Times. Yep, this is an RCA Columbia Pictures on videotape. This is a 1980 movie also starring Chevy Chase, Goli Hawn, Charles Grodin, and Robert Guillaume. I don't know how to pronounce that. Written by Neil Simon. And my cat Alexa wants to come in the room. I'm going to let her in in a minute, but I'm going to finish showing this first. Rated PG, approximately 103 minutes. Here's the sticker label, which has a 1987 copyright date. And the end label. And the print date right here. Um, see if I can show it clearly. If you can't see it well, it's October 22nd, 1990. And it was printed in the 44th week of 1990. So, yeah. So those were the VHS tapes I'm showing off for now before I show the, su the surprise. And before I show the DVD, I'm going to let my cat Alexa in the room. And she just hopped up on the bed. All right. Now for the actual DVD I'm showing for the update, which of course is a box set. And it is the 2006 DVD release of The Simpsons, The Complete Eighth Season. And this season originally aired from 1996 to 1997. And this one does not have the um, episode list on the back, but it's all right. Here are all the discs. Disc 1, Disc 2, Disc 3, and Disc 4. Here's the inside artwork. And it came with this insert for um, Mo Bizzo. And this did not come with the episode guide, but it's all right. I'll live with it. So let's get this back in. Oh. And I also forgot to show this. It shows a naked Maggie. All right. Let me get this back in. And now here's the one Blu-ray that I got. And this is a movie I saw in theaters back in September 2019. And it is the 2019 release of It Chapter 2. The 2019 sequel to the 2017 version of It, which I also have on Blu-ray. And the first It I did not see in theaters, but I did see this one in theaters. It includes bonus discs with It Documentary. A truly epic conclusion to one of the greatest horror stories in cinema history says Jake Hamilton, Fox TV. Here's the special features list, which you can just pause and read it yourself. And I don't feel like reading off the cast list, so I'll just let you read it to yourself if you want. Rated R for disturbing violent content and bloody images throughout pervasive language and some crude sexual material. Running time is 169 minutes. So this movie is nearly three hours long. All right. Here's the first Blu-ray disc with the movie. And here's the um, Blu-ray bonus features disc. And here's the DVD. And if anyone wants either the digital movie code or the survey code, you already know the drill. This code expires on New Year's Eve 2020. And this one expires on March 9th, 2020. Yep. And 
me get this back in. Had trouble getting that back in, but this is a pretty good sequel, even though I like the first It movie from 2017 more. But still a pretty good sequel. So, that's not the end of the update video yet, because now I have a surprise to show you, which I'm going to show it off on the count of three. One, two, three. This is a custom-made VHS of Angels with Filthy Souls, which is the um, fictional gangster movie that Kevin watches in Home Alone. Yep. And it's got a spoof of the MCA home video logo right there. It says MCCA Lister Home Video, and it's even got a spoof of the Warner Home Video Big W logo, but it's upside down. Yeah. I could not pass this up. So I'm going to show you what the um, cover looks like now. Keep the change, you filthy animal. And it's got numerous Home Alone references on the cover. Yeah. Rated R, rubbish, violence. If Uncle Frank says no, then it must be real bad. Ha. <laughs> That is clever. And, here, and the seller provided a note, which I'm going to show in a minute. And here's the sticker label and end label, which is made to look just like the real thing. And it looks like there may be something recorded on the tape, but it does not actually have Angels of Filthy Souls on it. So one of these days I might pop the tape in the VCR just for fun, just to see what's on it. And the seller also sent me this note. So, yeah, let me get this back in. So that's going to do it for my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for January 6, 2020. And I still have that Blu-ray coming in from Amazon, which was a pre-order, which comes out tomorrow, and I should be receiving it on Thursday. So that will be shown in the next update video. Anyways... Thank you for watching this update, and this is Brands Movie Corner signing off.